What's up, wrestling fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, coming at you with another action figure review. This time, I'm taking a look at the Jazzwares, AEW, Unrivaled Series 13 action figure of the very nice and very evil Danhausen. Let's have a quick look at the packaging. It says Unrivaled Collection on the bottom. This is figure number 118 in the series. Dan Housen is printed in gold foil lettering. On this side, we get the AEW logo and a headshot of Dan Housen. On the opposite side, once again, we get the AEW logo. There's product information on the bottom and a window on the top. On the back, we get this action shot of Dan Housen and the replica autograph, as well as headshots of the other wrestlers who have figures in this wave. I am very pleased with how this figure looks mint in package. You can clearly see the figure through the front window and the only part of the figure that is covered up is the hand and that is covered up by the studio shot of Dan Housen. The alternate hands and alternate head are positioned to the sides of the figure to make for a very pleasing package composition. And now it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. Let's have a look at accessories now. And we get this alternate set of pointing hands. There's plenty of detail on these. Excellent sculpting. And each hand comes with a hinged peg. This one's a little tight. But they allow you to move the hands back and forth. And here we have the alternate head sculpt. And there's nothing technically wrong with this. In fact, I think this head sculpt is a little bit better than the one that's already on the figure. However, the expressions on these head sculpts are very similar. I wish one would have been a smiling head sculpt, but nonetheless, I do find these accessories satisfactory. And here we see Dan Housen out of the package and ready to work his magic on the mic and in the ring. There are some moderate articulation issues with this figure. However, the overall appearance is outstanding. So let's take a closer look at the loose details now. The charismatic Danhausen is clad in long tights and a long flowing top. This attire features the familiar red and black color scheme with the tooth designs on the trim. Dan Housen's face is painted a gleaming white with black makeup around the eyes and mouth to complete his supernatural look. The sculpting on this figure is excellent. From the laces on the boots to the wrinkles in the tights and the shirt, this figure has a very realistic look. Although this figure's main color is a solid black, there are still some masterful paint applications throughout. The red paint on this figure is very eye-catching, as is the accurate sculpting of the hair. In terms of articulation, the feet move backward and forward at the ankle joint. There is some pivoting here, and there's also swiveling at the top of the boots. The figure has double jointed knees, so you have the option of getting him into a running pose. And here's a look at that. The figure also has a quadricep swivel, and that will give you posing options. He can kick forward that much, but this is where we encounter resistance from the shirt. And it's even more of an issue when you try to articulate the legs out to the sides although you do have the option of rotating them in the hip sockets. One leg steps back much further than the other, and that is again due to the shirt. He pivots back and forth at the waist. Be careful with the shirt here. You don't want to do damage. He has the upper torso swivel. He can rock back that much, and he can crunch forward this much. In terms of the arm articulation, he has rotation at both of the wrists. And again, the hands move backward and forward on the hinged pegs. So that gives you posing options. 
He has double jointed elbows. These are a little tight, but you can get them to bend into this angle. So I'm thankful for that. He also has the bicep swivel on each of the arms and that gives you posing options. The shoulder joints allow you to rotate his arms out and back this much and that looks very dynamic. You can get the arms to do a 360 at the shoulder joints and they raise up this far over the shoulders. So that is excellent. In terms of the head, it moves easily side to side. He can look up that much. He can look down that much. I wish he had a little bit more head tilting, but it's very minor. However, overall, this is still decent articulation. Here's a close-up of the head sculpt, and the paint work on this is just outstanding. It's very intricate. You can see the black around the mouth and the black and the red around the eyes. And here's the alternate head sculpt. And again, it's very similar with the exception of the hair. So I'm going to pop this onto the figure now. And here is the alternate head sculpt on the figure. And this is how I'm going to display my figure. The hair standing up on the head adds to the crazed look. And here is Dan Housen doing his trademark cursing gesture. This is very dynamic, and I appreciate Jazz Wares including this extra set of hands. For a size comparison, here is Dan Housen next to Powerhouse Hobbs and CM Punk, or as Dan Housen calls him, Pepsi Phil. For a size comparison to other lines, here is Dan Housen next to the Marvel Select Juggernaut and the McFarlane Vampire Green Lantern. And now some final thoughts on this figure. Dan Housen is one of the most unique gimmicks in pro wrestling today, and I'm very happy to have finally added a Dan Housen figure to my collection. There's a chase variant of this figure with a bare torso and cape, but I actually like this one better. This figure has a tight, clean look to it. Danhausen doesn't have a lot of figures yet, so this figure has become pretty hot on the secondary market. If you decide to add this figure to your collection, and I certainly suggest that you do, good luck and happy hunting. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some articulation shots. And also remember to catch me on Multiverse Musings, the vidcast. And that's available right here on YouTube. And I'll be back with more pro wrestling related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast. And thanks for watching.